Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The Case of the Disappearing Water Treatment Chemicals While I was performing preventive maintenance on a steam boiler at a local brewery, Pete, the maintenance tech, asked if there's any reason we are using a lot more water treatment chemicals. How much have you used, I asked, and got my question answered when I looked at the lines and dates marked with a sharpie on a 55-gallon chemical drum. They had used about half the chemicals in the jug in a month. The weird thing is the boiler is always showing low on sulfite. Can't figure it out, Pete said. The water treatment was a three-in-one treatment which contained sulfite as an oxygen scavenger. An oxygen scavenger consumes the oxygen in the boiler water to avoid oxygen pitting. In addition, the water treatment chemicals included a scale inhibitor and a pH control. Now I was determined to find the answer. I watched the gauge glass as the boiler ran and saw water steadily dripping into the gauge glass from the top pitting. This is usually an indication of carryover or a wildly fluctuating water level. Carryover is when slugs of water are carried with the steam into the piping. It reduces the efficiency of the system and lowers the boiler life. A way to test for carryover is by testing the conductivity levels in the boiler feed tank. If it is elevated, the system has carryover. Has it always used as much chemicals? I asked Pete and he shook his head. What changed, I wondered, and began looking around the system. That's what I love about troubleshooting steam systems. It's almost a holistic approach. You have to consider the whole system. A malfunction in one area can affect the operation in another. Is the low water cutoff tripping, I asked, and Pete nodded. Anything else you noticed, I asked? Well, the brewing seemed to take longer for some reason. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And the picture was coming together for me. When teaching my steam boiler classes, I liken carryover to you and your family sitting around a campfire making s'mores. You have the marshmallows in the fire, and suddenly someone pours water on the fire. That's what carryover does. It causes the steam to condense and cool, lowering the temperatures. Rule of thumb is that for every percent of wetness in the steam, the efficiency drops by 1%. This could be the cause of the extended brewing time. Visually tracing the piping, I saw a new pipe plug installed in the steam trap for the stainless steel kettle. What was here, I asked. It was a vacuum breaker. It started spitting water. I removed it and put the plug in, Pete said. Suddenly it fit. The system was going into a vacuum downstream of the kettle control valve because the vacuum breaker was gone. When the valve opened, the steam would rush out of the boiler and pull lots of water with it. You need to replace the vacuum breaker, I said. He looked at me credulously. I had to explain how a steam system works, and we went to the local supplier and picked one up. After installing the vacuum breaker and adjusting the water for the proper levels on the treatment, the system ran great and Pete informed me on my next visit that the brewing time and chemical usage has dropped significantly. What was going on in the system was the steam was leaving the boiler would take the water, including the water treatment chemicals, into the system. The air in the system would consume the oxygen scavenger, and Pete would have to add more chemical treatment to increase the sulfite levels. The other components of the treatment would not be consumed and show up as increased solids. This would cause the water to bounce and perpetuate the carryover. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com has my monthly blog post on steam systems for breweries, and Fire Ice Heat is my company website.
I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.